It's only the last second, I think. I'll get your camera out and record it. everyone welcome back to my channel i'm amy and this is pet rock and roll now look at this look at this beautiful sling that i was gifted by none other than tarantula dan dude you blew me away by giving this tea saladonia to me it's absolutely phenomenal an arboreal tarantula that acts like a trapdoor spider with the colorations of a disco ball who wouldn't want anything more Dan, I can't thank you enough. You do absolutely rock. I'm in love with this spider. So on to the second part of this video. Now let's pack up my mature male Carabina Versicolor to send him to two beautiful females. Good luck, Martin. I wish you all the best, dude. Packing a tarantula to go through the postal system is relatively easy. You're just going to need a few things, kitchen towel, a really decent container and a water sprayer or a spray bottle or just something that you can use to dampen the kitchen towel. Line the container, make sure it's all nice and comfy. You don't want the tarantula to have too much room. This is how I've always done it when I have posted tarantulas and so far, touch wood, and that actually did just touch wood, <laughs> and nothing's ever gone wrong and the tarantulas have always arrived safe and sound. So as you can see, I'm spraying the container. That's to give a little bit of moisture so the tarantula is hydrated on its journey. And then you're gonna need a piece of kitchen towel for the top just to cover the tarantula. Again, spray it with water so that you've got some moisture there if it gets thirsty on its way to its destination. So with the shipping container sorted, it was now time to get the tarantula out of his enclosure and into the shipping container. And I chose the catch cut method to do this because I find it a lot easier to guide them into the shipping container, especially if you've got holes in your catch cut where you can poke your paintbrush through and guide them down into the shipping container. Now this tarantula obviously being a new world species and very docile, I could have easily have handled him, but I find that it's easier to do it with the catch cut. It also minimizes the stress levels on the tarantula because you've got to remember it's going through the postal service and once you've given it to the post people you have no control over what's going to happen with that box they could get very stressed they might not cope very well whilst being posted so it's best to try and minimize the stress levels as much as you can before you actually get them into that container So now it's time for the next stage, which is to get the tarantula into the shipping container. Now this can be quite tricky, depending on what species it is that you're dealing with. This is a docile tarantula, as I've already said. So it was relatively easy. You just need to be calm. You need to be patient and don't rush it because he will go in eventually. You just need to take your time.
So with the tarantula now in the container, you just need to pop that lid of tissue paper on top, fold over the sides so that you can get the actual lid on the container. And once the lid's on the container, you wanna make sure that you sellotape it or do anything you can to make it escape proof and then pop on a label so that the person that you are sending it to knows exactly what tarantula it is. Even if it is only the one tarantula, still stick the label on top of it. Once you pop it into the box, you need to make sure that you've given it enough cushioning. So in this instance, I didn't have packing peanuts, so I used shredded paper, which actually works really, really well. Um, you can really pack it quite tight with shredded paper, which is what you wanna aim for. And the last thing you want to do is make sure that you label that box as fragile, extremely fragile, right on it somewhere that there's a live animal inside, live invert, live insect, however you want to put it, to make sure that the postal people know that what's inside is actually alive and you don't want it thrown around. And less than 24 hours later, Martin arrived with Gina. I was over the moon to see that he actually arrived all safe and sound. He did so well coping with that postal journey. It's so a huge thank you to Gina from Shadows Exotics. Please make sure that you go and check out her Facebook page. A link to it will be in the description. And watch this space, guys, because the future looks bright for this lad and these two girls. Let's get some spiderlings. So that's it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do consider it as it really does help me out. I upload every Wednesday. So until I see you next time, do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.